Well, as you can see, I'm at the uh, Long Time Log Haven Restaurant, located on Big Bear Boulevard, right on the corner of Edgemore. And folks, this is one of the oldest restaurants in Big Bear Valley. So anyway, they have uh, fairly new owners, and I like to go in there and have a little tour and chat with them. Oh, we're inside. You know what? It's really neat. They do have a full bar, which is right here, and several television sets. Look at the big one back there. And up here. They have pictures of a lot of celebrities who have uh, dined here. This is a really great place. This is probably one of the homiest uh, ambiance you'll find in a restaurant in Big Bear. Look at all the naughty pie and everything. Large dining room. Holds a lot. And the food is marvelous. A little hard to shoot against the windows, but I'm going to shoot against it right now. But it's really something. Not too close. Well, I found the owners, Dan and Colleen. How are you two? Good, Very Ron. Good. How now, are you? When did you buy the Log Cabin restaurant? We got it in July of last year and got it open December of last year. That's right. You did a lot of work bringing it up to code. Man, the kitchen, you can eat off of the floor. It's so clean. It's really neat. Yeah, we worked with the health department quite a bit, make uh -huh. sure that they were getting what they expected. Right. Uh, we did the handicap ramp out in front and the trash enclosure for the city. So those you were, bet. Uh, extended the paving. There was a lot of work done. A lot of work done uh, behind where people can't see. A lot of electrical work. Right. HVC plumbing. <laughs> right. Uh, it's an old building. As near as I can tell, it was built in. Uh, the early uh, 1890s. That's right. It's the oldest one. It's the oldest restaurant building mm -hmm. in Big Bear Valley. Mm -hmm. And it's been a continuously a restaurant. Right. right. Restaurant yeah. and bakery and so the, forth. The first reference to a menu was 1908. So really? Wow. I know it used to be uh, George and Siggy's mm -hmm. many years ago. Right. They bought the Knuperhausen <laughs> restaurant out in Bear City. <laughs> but since then, they've retired. Mm -hmm. But this is so neat. I mean, it is, as I said earlier, this is, has the most homey, warm atmosphere of so many of the restaurants up here. <laughs> Thank you. And, of course, ambience is really important. Not only feeling ho homey, but also the menu, the food. And since you've taken over, I mean, it has really, I hear nothing but rave. I've never heard one complaint on the log cabin <laughs> since you've been here. Okay. And that's good. That's wonderful. Because you usually can't please 100% of the people. No. But uh, if you're going to get a complaint, you're going to get a complaint. You're not going to say how good it is, but right. that's what it is. But your service, your menu, your selection, and your open breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's right. All every day? day? All, yeah, all day. Every breakfast, day. Breakfast every day. Now, in the, in the slow months, uh, we'll, we'll shut down on Tuesday evenings. Uh, so right now in the fall, but in the summer and the, in the winter, we'll be open. Sure. All the way through till 9 o'clock. Yeah. And not only inside, of course, during the winter months, you have a wonderful patio outside. We do. We do. People love. You know, people from down the mountain, they, they love the fresh air. And any, any restaurant that has a patio... Is popular. Mm -hmm. That's right. And That's they want a lot do. of food. They yeah. expect a lot of food. I know. They love the pancakes and the heavy heavy foods. That's that's kind of the, the typical fare. We have the salads, but the, the locals will eat the salads because the visitors are. Oh, really I good. know it. <laughs> I want to shoot some of the uh, the dishes that are coming out. They're so good. Mm -hmm. But you serve full breakfast, a wonderful breakfast menu. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people come here for that's breakfast. And they and can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day. Can they really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's unusual for yeah, it is unusual, a, and that's a good one of the dining we wanted restaurant. To, wanted to do here was to make that available. And sure, it is, it is very popular. People do like it. So. And then, of course, your lunches are good. And ARP is here. Oh, and you had third district supervisor that's here right. last Wednesday to that's right. speak on ethics in local government. Mm -hmm. Correct. 
topics that we badly need today. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I hate to get off subject on that. But you know, you have on your evening menu, you have uh, a few German dishes. Yes, we still have the German menu that was popular before, uh -huh. and we decided to keep it. We have the, the recipe book. And we also have the number two cook before is the number one now. So really? we know how they did it, and that's just what they oh, did. Oh, good. So, <laughs> I love the sauerbraten. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Yep. It's it's a distinct taste. It's not, uh -huh. you know, it's it's um, quite vinegary because we do marinate it according to the authentic recipe. Sure. So, so yeah, a lot of people like the German. And, and what's really nice pancakes. about the restaurant, too, is you have a full bar. Oh, yeah. A lot of people like cocktails before dinner. Mm -hmm. You yeah, have beer, wine, of course. Mm -hmm. And you've got about almost 10 beers on tap. Yeah, we've got which is few. good. I'll fill it up eventually. I'll get more of them in there. But, uh, yeah, you don't need that much more. I mean, 10 on tap plus, you know, yeah, a, uh, couple of, uh, a, a bottle of like. Brews for Oktoberfest. And oh, do you so have we, that? We're trying to have some fun. You know, we got some, the wine is starting to expand. We're starting to get more and more wines because it's so expensive to start that we can only add They're just adding, here, sure. And, but it's starting to grow. It's, uh, we're starting That's to great. Started. And I'm doing a lot of research on wines to make sure that we're getting the, the right grapes and the, oh, great. And the right vineyards. So, uh, you know, if somebody comes in and they do want something unique, we might have. We're trying. <laughs> right. That's for sure. Oh, man. And, of course, I, as I panned around, I saw a lot of television sets. You have about yeah, there's four ten, or five. There's ten in the building. Oh, ten? Ten, ten in here, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it, it's not really a sports bar. We, we keep them turned down. But uh, right. uh, if somebody wants to come in with their family and they want to watch the game, we can do oh, that. Do you so, have the ability to have different what, channels? Yeah, there, there different? are different channels. I don't have uh, cable on every one. But, uh, yeah, right, right. We, uh, we have regular stations. And so, sure. As a matter of fact, the football game's running right now for the guys. Right. That is great. <laughs> and um, I know that the... The, the kitchen is, do you have the same, I thought you had someone in the kitchen that's been here for years. Did you get them back? Or? Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, right. That's our cook, Jose. So it was a smooth transition. It was a smoother than a lot. Yeah. We had a couple servers that had been here before. One of the dishwashers had been here before. Uh -huh. so, uh, we, and, and a lot of the people uh, work multiple jobs anyway, so uh, it's pretty normal up here for them to do that. Right. But, uh, we got some of the best best crew on the mountain. Really. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's the combination. Uh, the success of a restaurant is the consistency. Mm -hmm. If your food is consistent, it, you'll do well. That's right. Food and uh, service, and the service yes. are the two two most important parts. Keep them coming back. And the problem that you have down here is out of sight, out of mind for a lot of the. East Valley residents. That's right. You know, and this is why we want to do a lot of promotions for you in order to let people know it's not that far. You're 15 minutes from anywhere in the valley. Yeah. That's right. And go down the mountain and they'll go a half hour, 45 minutes to a favorite restaurant. That's right. So it's nothing that we're spoiled. I know, I know. But I got to tell you, it's our locals. We owe them so much thanks oh, for, sure. for continuing to come back. I mean, we do. We have locals also that live on the other side of the 38 that drive over here good. once or twice a day. That's great. To eat here, so it makes us feel good. Oh, so, I know. There's know. a lot of support and yeah. hope for a successful business for right. years to come. Now, one thing you have here that no one else has is every Friday night. Yeah. yeah the Holcomb Valley Boys you are coming in. Holcomb Valley yeah. Boys. Yeah, we do. That we do, and, and they're like great. It. They expect it. The, it, it fits into the, the theme out here. So. It's a big bear uh, band. Yeah. It is. We call it. Good old mountain music. Good old and mountain music. So that much really audience is. participation. We had people singing with them last night. So. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. That was really nice. So. I'm, uh, I'm going to add them to here, uh, to this segment, because I have, last time I was here, I filmed them, so yeah. we'll show people what the Holcomb Valley Boys are all of, about. Yep. Yeah. Now, speaking about bands, <laughs> Dan, you're in a band. Yeah, I play in a band down in Orange County. Wow. It's, it's a you band. still do? Yeah, I still do. I go down there. Really? Fact, we, just, we cut a, a, a CD last weekend, uh, and uh, it, it's not released. You know, We don't have it at, uh, set up yet. But, uh, uh, and I'm going to go down. There's a blues competition down in Long Beach, and that's going to be happening uh, in December. So... Uh, 
they, they keep me a little busy, not too busy, which is great. How many in the band? Uh, six people. Six people. Yeah. And it's a blues, it's a blues band. band. Yeah. How great. <laughs> blues will never die. <laughs> you ever we're going to have them up here for a concert or uh, something? I, I, they're, I'm, I'm keep plugging it. I keep saying, hey, you know, it's too far for them, but I keep saying, hey, I come down, you know, it's time yeah, to Yeah, now so come up here one so time. We'll be Spend the weekend up yeah. here. And yeah. Well, that yeah, would be play. cool, it wouldn't would it? Be, they're pretty loud, though. They're pretty loud guys. So. Oh, <laughs> they're well, nice. They're good guys. turn them down. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. So what else is exciting here at the log cabin? Well, you yeah. mentioned the AARP. Um, you do, uh, you are available for lunches for groups. Absolutely. Dinner's a little bit different. Right. Uh, no, we can accommodate large groups, uh, reservations preferred. Uh huh. But sometimes, I mean, we'll get a party of 20 that just shows up on our doorstep. And, and because of the size of this dining room, we can usually right. accommodate it. Right. So you bet. It, it works out really well, especially around Christmas time. And there's a lot of families will come up and. And they'll fill up the dining room. They'll, yeah. they'll fill it up. But it's. Uh, but I know the ARP members just love the menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've they're been here for ten lunch. Ten months in a row now. Um, they've been here quite a bit because yeah, they vote on since it every January. Month. Yeah. So January. yeah. Next they were month so glad we'll to hear that you were reopening <laughs> after you finished the closing and transfer over. Yeah. 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 But and I've been here to two ARP lunches, and I tell you the lunches are. Yeah. Well, next month, if you can make it, we're having a traditional turkey dinner. Oh, good. In honor of Thanksgiving. That's going to be their bill of fare good. for that day. So, take you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I just want to show some of the great plates here for breakfast. You got it. Well, look at these. You don't go hungry here. No. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Their breakfasts are great. <laughs> and look at this. Give me a little guy and I'll film him every time. How are you? Hi. How old is he? She's a uh, she? little over a year. A little over a year. Oh, doggone. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, very Hi, good. Hi, Bob LaCroix. Well, good morning, Ron Seymour. How are Did you? Did you walk morning? all the way down here from the No, village? no, no, no. Drove no. Today? <laughs> I drove today. I already had my walk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, you had this restaurant for 33 years? 31. 31 years. Right. And they're carrying on the tradition. They certainly are. It's wonderful, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to see something continuing. That's right. Right. Because yeah, it's like your baby. You know, you grew it up for 31 years, well, and you want to see it mature. Mark regards it as his Tara, like in Gone with the Wind. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. That's, That's great. <laughs> well, you've done a good job, and have fun in your retirement. Well, thank you, Ron. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to shoot some of the, the wonderful plates that they serve. Well, in. they are wonderful, and they smell good, too. I know it. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> thank you. I want you to see the menu, big one. Look at that. It's two pages right there. The classic breakfast, egg benedict, omelets, and all of that. And then we go over to the luncheon menu, which has got a... Oh, they also have German breakfast, folks, which I'm going to show you a little bit of the knockwurst, bratwurst, and a few of that. And their hamburgers are great. Not from frozen steak. And these are the dinners, the entrees, and the salads, and... Oh, seafood, chicken, barbecue, oh, just great. This is a big menu. You can't decide what food's here, folks. You're not hungry. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, this is a German breakfast. That is Colleen? Called, yeah, that is called the Everything Sausage Breakfast. That has bratwurst, knockwurst, and kielbasa. Ooh. It comes with two potato pancakes, it comes on a bed of sauerkraut, and traditionally Germans have it with uh, the potato pancakes with applesauce, apple sauce, which yes. they call apunus. Oh, really? Yes. Then the sour cream is actually an Americanized take on what's good on it. Okay? Wow. So it that comes looks with both. So good. This is the classic eggs Benedict. Oh, with home style potatoes. You got it. You got it. We call them our country fries. Uh huh. And we use real Canadian bacon, 
and of course your poached eggs. Oh wow! Yeah, on an English muffin, and it's wonderful. And you can't go away hungry from no, you either away. one of these. If you do, mm. I know it. And this is, of course, my that's favorite. That's just a standard that, biscuit and gravy. That's a giant biscuit and gravy, right. folks. We also have the TLC, either tender love and care, or the log cabin biscuit and gravy, which includes a sausage patty. Um, two eggs, and you like them? So, Isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah. Oh, folks, you can't go wrong. You can't. I mean, you'll come here and you'll get up and rave about whether you're here for breakfast or lunch or dinner. That's if you can get up. That's if you can get <laughs> After you eat it. And waddle out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's about it. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been a segment filmed at the long time great log cabin restaurant located on Big Bear Boulevard and it's right on the corner of Edgemore. It's about, uh, oh, I'd say a half a mile east of the Big Bear Lake City Hall. It's uh, in the lower part of what they call the Red Ant Hill area. So that's it from here. Get here, folks. Well, no, hang on. I want to find out their hours. Uh -huh. Well, Dan, what are the hours now? You're open seven days a week? Uh, seven days a week. We're running from uh, seven, to, 7 to 9, except Tuesdays we're closing, closing at 2. Right. Uh, and we open at 6 o'clock on the weekends. Six, oh. 6 in the morning on, on Saturday oh, Sunday. on weekends, yeah, early. Yeah, somebody wants to come early. You know, early I'm, rising. I'm here, whether somebody else is, is a different story. Right. <laughs> now, for large groups, you would prefer reservations? Yeah, and again, uh, anything over the time of year. eight, probably, or yeah, ten. Yeah, it, it definitely is a good idea to call. We'll make sure you get set up and, and get a table or, or outside table or wherever it is. You're right. Going to get What's set the phone up? number? Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you don't call yourself, huh? No. <laughs> okay, we got it now. Uh, phone number is 909-866-7300. Uh, 866-7300. That's it. That's easy to remember, <laughs> folks. So call if you have large groups. Yeah. They do t uh, take large groups for lunch, breakfast, lunches, mm -hmm. dinners. Well, it all depends on what time for, mm -hmm. for dinner, but they can even handle large groups. Too. Come on down. Thanks, Dan. You and Colleen, best of... You don't need luck. You've got a, a long-time establishment that just runs like a greased wheel. Get on down. Thanks, Dan. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the Log Cabin Restaurant. So don't go away. I'll be back right after these messages.